Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Rain barrels are a great way to help reduce stormwater runoff and provide a steady water supply to your plants, all at the same time. Now more than a dozen schools around the state are getting their own rain barrels and a lesson in water conservation thanks to the DEP's Watershed Improvement Branch. This represents all the water in the world, okay? Students at Weberwood Elementary School in South Charleston spent the afternoon soaking up knowledge about protecting and preserving our most precious resource, water. I learned about saving water by taking showers quicker, um, no littering, and, uh, and um, never keep the water on. I'm not too, not to put trash in the air not too little and always pick up your trash. Not to waste water and there's li just a little bit of water to drink. I think that if we get kids out when they're young, such as in third grade, they can really learn why we need to conserve water. And if they start doing those practices when they're young, they can teach their family, their friends, and it's something that'll be a different mindset for them that they're gonna carry on through their adults. But the most exciting part of the afternoon was helping install the school's new rain barrel. So the water is going to go from here and it's going to come into the barrel. Wow. Okay. How? It's all the way over there. It's all the way over here. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> wow. There you go. That, that was satisfying. That was satisfying. I agree. That is such a satisfying sound. Um, we're drilling a hole in the gutter and a hole in a rain in a barrel, and we're gonna lead the rain that's coming off the roof, and it's gonna come in the barrel so we can water plants. But the most exciting part of the afternoon was helping install the school's new rain barrel. The DEP's watershed improvement branch had some leftover rain barrels from last season and decided to donate them to area schools. About 70 applied and 14 were selected. Together with Project WET, they offered an educational component to the program as well. So what, what did we learn today? Um, how, how to use a rain barrel, barrel and to put it in and to use it. You don't want to drink out of the rain barrel. Okay, what else did we learn? Um, you always have to wear safety goggles when you are drilling into stuff. So do you think I should install this? all the way down here to get the water all the way up here? No. no. My students were thrilled that we were going to have a rain barrel. We just found out we're going to get an outdoor garden. And the first question they asked was, how are we going to water the garden? So as soon as we get the garden installed, the students will actually use the rainwater that's collected to water the garden. And throughout the summer, they're going to meet me here so we can water our garden with the rain that we collect. The program has about 10 more rain barrels to install at schools around the state. If you'd like more information on how to install a rain barrel on your property and the benefits of having one there, visit our website, dep.wv.gov. Just type rain barrel into the search box and it will take you to the link. That's all for this week for Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.